February 10th, 1.06 p.m. District Court, courtroom number 7. Now then, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, with this... Yes? How can I help you, Mr. Judge? Well, it seems that we... If... If we're to learn the truth, we'll need to hear your testimony. I have no problem with that. But when you see what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. The... In any case, let's hear your testimony. Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. <clears throat> the whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So, so that means you, you really are. Wait a minute. Did you just say the plan was to kill Maya Faye? Yes! You have a problem with that? Don't give us that nonsense. There's a way that... Watch yourself, Trite. If you got a problem, solve it during cross-examination. That's one of my rules. Mr. Godot is correct. Uh, by the way, that's one of my rules as well. To kill Maya? Could it be true? Dolly Hawthorne, what have, have you done? Our well, plan began with my death! You were executed last month, correct? Yes, I was hanged! It was exactly pleasant! How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Last year! She was transferred to the same detention center as me. Since I was on death row and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. I see! So that's when you discuss the plan. Huh! Are you crazy? At first that woman was trying to kill me as well. Even though I'm her own daughter. All to make Pearl Faye the master of Crane? She's a cold, twisted woman. She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister Misty took her place as a master. Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. Hmm, a plan, huh? I do not have a good plan. Stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. You're talking about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes, though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. You and your twin sister, Iris. That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us had much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her, along with our father. A abandoned? The only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. <laughs> my sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at an old temple. You mean Iris? Yes, my father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? On top of that, my father had absolutely no interest in children in general. Uh, uh, how horrible! Really horrible one was that woman! A bitter, vengeful woman. It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child, Pearl Fay. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power. Fortunately for her, Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams onto that poor child's back. All because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. I for it to work, my Fay would first have to die. Why would I have to die? But why? For our bloodline to succeed as a main family, thus making Pearl the new master. The remaining descendants of the current master had to be take care ca taken care of. <clears throat> but Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. Th that's ridiculous. She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her daughter. And naturally, 
A life of my fay as well. How could anyone do that? The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have blame pinned on Iris. I you, you were going to kill Maya? Farrell didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was follow the instructions of the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead, and there's nothing any of you can do to me. Girl, so the plan was to blame the crime on your younger twin, on Sister Iris of Hasquare Temple. She and I look absolutely identical. No one can tell us apart. So when we witness me killing Maya, naturally they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was they had none, Sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Hasquare Temple that night. But she wound up seeing Iris's crime anyway. But well, why did you want to defend the, the murder on Iris in the first place? She's your twin sister, isn't she? <laughs> twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. Backstabber? But you just don't understand. You never will. Anyway, the plan went wrong, but seems to have succeeded anyway. You think the plan was a success? You heard me. Just as that woman had hoped. My F.A. is dead. Now the title of the master will pass on to Pearl Th That's absurd. Maya's just... She's just trapped. Trapped inside the sacred cavern. <laughs> really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny? Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. Your sniveling naivete and your pathetic faith in other people. Uh, I just want to know one thing. What do you personally think of Morgan Fay's plan? <laughs> I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan! It had no point, no value other than for fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did he help her carry it out? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You might not understand it, being the kind, being the kind and gentle soul that you are. You might not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then, tell me why? Is it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was... For myself! For my own personal satisfaction! What do you say? So this woman, Talia Hawthorne, she had her own reason for wanting Maya dead? Do you understand why I would kill Maya Faye now? What my goal was? Obviously, it's because you were helping Morgan Faye. Helping? Don't make me laugh! From the day I was born to the day I died, I never helped anyone. I lived for myself and, in the end, I died for myself. I thought that was obvious. So she wasn't actually cooperating with Morgan. She was just using Morgan and her plan so she could accomplish her own goal. All I wanted to do was kill my affair. That was the only way I could think of to get revenge. Revenge? Looks like I have no choice but to present that, that piece of evidence. I can't believe it. She meant to kill Maya. I've got to keep a cool head. And I need to get more information out of her. It's the only way to understand this plan and what she was after as well. <clears throat> I understand why you wanted to kill Maya Faye. Could it be that your actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Faye herself? As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. <sighs> because I'm already dead. Well, I have the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead. And you can't take revenge against them either. You, you want to take revenge on someone? I was sent to die because of that woman. Mia Faye. I somehow knew this was it. I wanted to send her a message. 
It was in her hands that I suffered my first humiliation! I wanted her to feel the same pain she made me feel! Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up! Now the reason it was impossible, was it perhaps because Mia Fei had already died? Yes, now I realize there is only one way to take revenge against the dead. Uh, and how do you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. I wanted to take away the person that Mia Fei loved most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fei. That was the reason I helped out with that woman's plans. Just for that? For that you would kill Maya? Your goal is no different that, than that of Morgan Fay. As I say, the apple doesn't fall from the tree. Fall far from the tree. What a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. <laughs> Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I've already told you. There's no other thing you can do to me. Girl. That night? At about 9.30 p.m., I materialized into this world. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warding hood. Then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazukura Temple. So, it was at least Denim who challenged her after all. That ridiculous head nun never noticed a thing. She left my fae at the inner temple and wobbled back clutching her old back. What well, what did you do what did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in the front of the stone lantern, then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and huh. so then you you're saying you stabbed me, Maya? It's strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear me memory? I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed? At the last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. Anyway, I slowly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I'd hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I, I can't believe she was thinking of that until the bitter end. That's where my memory temporarily stops. It, it stops? I don't have any memory of actually killing Maya Faye with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Maya's terror-filled eyes. When I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern? The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. How did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya was dead. I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I had killed her myself. Hmm. For a ghost, you want tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying you were actually confined against your will inside the sacred cavern? Yes! I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible! But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? It was early in the morning. But someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? Huh. I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the secret cavern. <clears throat> that morning, only two people could have gotten into the training hall. Maya and... Pearls. 
Pearls went there to cover the hang of scroll and gravy. Still, I finally managed to remove the lock, but I was too late. What do you mean by that? The flies already started to gather. The bridge had been fixed and the police had started th their investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see my scorpion as I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris. She said she'd come to make sure the sacred cavern was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cavern and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. I had finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean, your plan has succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me, I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But, I was wrong. The person that I actually called Miss Beer back was... Misty Fay, the picture book author. What? Well what? Well, that's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden, it was her body that was left lying there. <laughs> my Faye. I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human can commit. And that is? Matricide. The sin of killing her own mother! Uh, no way! Uh, order! Order in the court! What is the meaning of this? It's true that it was the, the one who attacked my Faye. But even so, the murderer who actually stuffed out Misty Faye's life was none other than your darling little Maya! R ridiculous! That's nonsense! Are you sure about that? Just think about it. There's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? Uh, what do you mean? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that my affair disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Huh? The idea that she's still in the sacred cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the inner temple. That much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place she could be. Well, where? Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River! Where else? Uh, it, Eagle River? I have fake killed her long lost mother! Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself into the Eagle River! Most body that went up the, in there are lost forever! So, what do you have to say now, Feeny? Oh, uh. 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 Oops. Uh, sorry, that's my phone. What kind of ringtone is that? Good out here. The okay. Thanks. Well, was it something important? Let us finish removing the logs from the sacred cavern. That's great. What about Maya? There was a woman in the cave. Was it Maya Fay? He was the accused, Sister Iris. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. So, what about Maya? Where is she? There was no one else found inside the sacred cavern. No, no, it can't be. 
I told you, didn't I? She's dead! No! No! It seems to me that she has lived her life like a candle in the wind. It seems that this case has come to an end. A tragic end. Oh well. Sadly, it appears to kill off Winnie Stenham, also known as Misty Faye, was her own daughter, Maya Faye. Overcome with guilt for what she has done, Maya Faye jumped to her death into the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. Trite, have you ever heard of this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. What, what is that supposed to mean, Prosecutor Godot? According to this witness, Maya Faye threw herself onto the Eagle River. <laughs> However, is that really the truth? Eh. Remember, this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire when the murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya had thrown herself into the river, it must have been from the inner temple side, near the bridge. That's right! That's where she jumped from! But that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into the river from there. Uh, what? What? Don't get your panties all twisted up, Trite. Just relax and think through the whole thing again. So it's impossible. Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Egg River. Well, Mr. Wright, Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Faith threw herself into the river from the inner temple side. Do you have any evidence that refutes this claim? Yes, I think I do. Yep. I have a sense of... I have a feeling of deja vu. It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped into the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the Inner Temple side is a big rock shelf. Oh! Oh! You're right! She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. Oh! Huh. So you finally figured it out. You... No! Uh, order! Order! You... You're just playing with me! My face body is at the bottom of the Eagle River! There's no else you could possibly be hiding! Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever it may must be the truth. Yes, yeah, just a few minutes ago! My FA wasn't inside the sacred cavern. We now know that she didn't throw herself into the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. Whoa! What? What is this one possibility are you talking about? Does this all he's still bluff? So where is her dead body then? Finally, I think the pieces are falling into place. Normally the living have no way to punish the dead, but I think there is a way to give Dahlia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. <clears throat> Shall I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya is in this very instant? Maya Fay is... There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? My face in here? You said you're in my courtroom? Dolly Hawthorne, I seem to recall that you said, I always had that sort of thing, you see. So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. 
What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? What? What is it? That's obvious. It's Profi! The pathetic little sniveling runt. You're wrong. Pearl tried, but she couldn't do it. I've never failed at challenging someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there any explanation for why you can not challenge spirit? It could have happened if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Oh my god. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Pearl has even tried again on the, on the day after the crime. But she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right about now, am I correct? <laughs> ah! Zvari! It wasn't Pearls that challenged you. There was someone there was someone who called you before she could. This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Missy Faye is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already! I can't stand the tension! Dolly Hawthorne, the person challenging you right now must be Maya Fay. What? What? But but how could that be? Remember what this witness Dolly Hawthorne said about her goal? She said that her goal was to kill Maya Fay. Yes, that's right. But if Maya cha channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her, the huh. well, Gramps, what would happen? Could it be? Looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't! What are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the reason why I challenged you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. To protect herself from me? Yes. On the night of the crime, you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Fey. The path back to Hezekiah Temple was closed off. And there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became where would be the safest place to hide? Ah! Ah! You, you mean uh, that's when she challenged me? All this time you thought you had been challenged by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you that Maya's hiding place was you. N no! No! Don't say that! You, you're saying that I. Dolly Hawthorne was played for a fool by that little whelp! Uh, My fair killed herself! Isn't it obvious? Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. This was the only avenue of escape open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the inner temple. I don't believe you! A stupid little girl I thought it was there been out in the real world? She could never come up with a plot like that! Who could have given her such a brilliant idea? The, well... Me, of course. Me, of course! M Mia! Mia Faye! That's my long time, Dalia Hawthorne. The plot thickens. <coughs> so it's true. It was you. Yes. Here's something else. B but what? What are you doing here? That hair. It's pearls, right? Time or something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to that now one more time. Yeah, I just cornered Maya in, in the Art Temple's garden. And then, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by my FA! Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did? Not terribly surprising, since she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. That's when Maya decided she needed help. So she, she child me. She explained in a memo the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she should do. She did that? I can't believe it! Of course, I didn't have all the details, but one thing was perfectly clear. And that was? I know that you can be allowed to under Frey. Frey? What do you mean? 
It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible, and lock herself in the sacred cavern until help arrived. So it was Maya who put the lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it, Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Fay. P pearls Yes, Pearls Pearl didn't properly understand the plan. So all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Margaret Fay's instruction. As she had succeeded in challenging Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly to put up mildly. So that's how it was. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. D yes, as soon as us like that was the intent all along. How dare you! I, I won't forget this! Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? What? What do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you! Eleven years ago? The fake kidnapping? Your very first crime? You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Valier Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. Shut your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid, awful visitor and the weakling of a police robot! And then, one year later, you tried to kill me. <laughs> well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else. As a result, you were sentenced to death. <laughs> it's one stupid move after another for you, but it's no longer funny. You wipe the smoke I be going else about her face. Nah, -uh, and now this. You messed up again. You let Maya escape, even though she was right there in front of you. <laughs> You, you spitster! I was supposed to kill my affair like I swore I would! If all of you had done this big and tried to the verdict, I would have been hanged to death! Chow! There! Well, I think I finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defend me! What? What did you say? Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all eternity. <laughs> I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. <laughs> For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature that could never win at anything. And for you, there is no escape from that. No help of freedom. Since the day you were ex executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. You... You... You're wrong. It can't be. How could I lose to the likes of you? It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of my body right now. You've unlocked my 
fellow farm. I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Nick? Sis? <laughs> 